All right, the next topic in the unit determinant is about your area of a triangle. Over here, I've taken one triangle of which the vertices are A, B, C. The coordinate for point A are x1, y1, for point B, x2, y2, and for point C, x3, y3. Then we know that the area of a triangle whose vertices A, B, and C can be written as 1 by 2, x1, y2 minus y3, plus x2, y3 minus y1, plus x3, y1 minus y2. This whole thing you have studied in your class 10, so that's all about the area of a triangle. Now this area of triangle can be written down in as a determinant form in this manner, <clears throat> where your determinant is equal to 1 by 2 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 if you solve this using the properties of determinant you'll get the same answer which is equal to this i hope you clicked there so that's all about your area of a triangle now under this area of a triangle there come some remarks the first remark is given that since area is a positive quantity we always take the absolute value of the above determinant for the area now, what do you mean by the first remark is this one. Suppose there will be two answers. Suppose while solving the area of the, uh, what do you call that, triangle, you got the answer to be in positive and the answer to be in negative. There are two things to solve over here. Now, for area, uh, in order to solve the area, the answer should always come as what? Square unit? Yes or no? Similarly, if you solve volume, the area answers will always come in what? Cubic unit. Now square, a square cannot be what? Negative. Okay, do remember. So whenever you try to find the area, the answer cannot be in negative. That's why this line, absolute value, comes handy. So no matter what you got the answer, either in positive or negative, always try to take the absolute value. And the answer should always be in positive. Why? Because the triangle cannot be in, sorry, the area of a triangle cannot be in what? Negative. Why? Because it's square unit. Okay. Then comes remark number two. It's given that if three points A, B, C are collinear, then area triangle A, B, C is equal to zero. That's very easy. In short, whenever the three points happens to be collinear, then the area of triangle should be equal to zero. In short, collinear means the triangle should be zero. Okay, let us start the exercise. Uh, exercise 4.3, question number one. It's given 106043 and I have to find the area of a triangle. So let me just consider let uh, A 1,0, B 6,0, C 4,3. Then your area of triangle ABC now you have to use the property of determinant so ABC would be nothing more than 1 by 2 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 over here the value for x1 is this your y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 now if I have to put the value over here then I will get the answer nothing more than 1 by 2 the value for x1 is 1 0 1 6 0 1 4 3 1 now let me use the property of determinant to solve this one so I'm going to use this one to be plus minus plus that we have already studied so that will be nothing more than 1 by 2 the first one will be 1 if 1 this and this gone so that will be 0 1 3 1 the next comes minus 0 so that will be minus 0 means this and this gone so this will be 6 1 4 1 then lastly it will be plus 1 1 means this and this gone so that will be 6 0 4 3 now if I happen to solve that so that will be 1 by 2 1 0 1 zero, 0 minus 3 minus 0 into anything happens to be 0 plus 6 3 is a 18 minus 4 0 is a 0 so which would be 1 by 2 so that will be minus 3 plus 18 so which would be 
15 by 2 and we are finding about the area so the answer would be nothing more than in square unit I guess you're clear all right uh, question 2 is given that so that the points a a plus a comma b plus c b b comma c plus a c c comma a plus b are collinear and if you can look over there it's given that I have to prove that the points are collinear so if you can look over in your remark number two it's clearly mentioned that if the given points are collinear then the area of a triangle so nothing more than equal to zero so same thing i'm gonna do it over here so let me do it directly let me just try to do a little bit opposite so area of triangle a b c is nothing more than one by two the first point happens to be a b plus c one b c plus a one c a plus b one now if we can look over here neither in any column or in any row they are same everything happens to be different but if you can just compare your column number two sorry column number two with column number one okay if you just add up c1 plus c2 see a plus b plus c similar over here we'll get b plus c plus a c plus a plus b so everything will be same so i'm just going to do that so it will be c2 tends to c2 plus c1 so if i do that i'll get here one by two a b c b plus c plus a c plus a plus b a plus b plus c one 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 I hope you're clear. Now, if you look over here, your C2, everything is same. It's A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C. I'm going to take that common. A plus B plus C. And divide by 2. And I will get the answer A, B, C. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I guess again you're clear over here. Now, the next answer will be a plus b plus c divided by 2 and directly the answer will be 0. How come 0? Since c2 is equal to c3 and that is the property of your determinant that any row or any column are identical then the answer should be nothing more than 0. So I got the answer to be 0 that is area of triangle ABC happens to be zero so i can say that hence a b c are nothing more than what call linear all right it's given the question number three that find the value of k if the area of a triangle is four square unit and the vertices happens to be this three and i've already mentioned here a b c so area of triangle a b c is given to be in four square unit now before I found this one, let me just find what is area of triangle ABC. So, area of triangle ABC is nothing more than 1 by 2. Your X1 happens to be K, 0, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1. So, let me take this three. That is plus, minus, plus. So, your answer would be nothing more than 1 by 2. K, I'll just try to do directly, okay? So K means this and this gone. So that will be minus 2. Next will be minus 0. So 0 in the ending happens to be 0. I don't have to solve that. Lastly, plus 1. Plus 1 means this and this gone. So 4 to the 8. So I got the answer. 1 by 2 minus 2 plus 8. Minus 2K, sorry. So which would be minus K plus 4. So I got the area of triangle ABC to be minus K plus 4. So, as per question, your area of triangle ABC equal to 4 square unit. So, that means, if you look over there at the, your remark number 1, Whenever you take gonna take area of a triangle, the answer should be what in absolute value. Absolute value, so that will be nothing more than minus k plus four. So it's nothing more than your four square unit. So that next line will be minus k plus four. Whenever the absolute value changes over here, that will be answer will be either in plus or minus because we don't know whether the area is positive or 
negative. Now, if you clear till there, so it will be either minus k plus 4 is equal to 4 or k plus 4 is equal to 4. So, it will be minus k is equal to 4 minus 4, k is equal to minus 4, minus 4. So, that's minus. So, it will be minus k is equal to 0, minus k is equal to minus 8, k is equal to 0, k is equal to 8. So, that is the value for k is either 0 or 8. The next question is question of 4. It is given that find the equation of a line joining 1,2 and 3,6 using determinant. And if you can look over this question and the rest of the equation that we have done, the difference between this question is that they are here only two points has been given. One point is missing. So we have to find that point in order to find the equation. So how to do it? Please look it very carefully. So let me take the other point to be uh, let C x comma y be any point lying on the line joining a 1 comma 2 and b 3 comma 6 all right so as three points lie on the same line so the given points will be Nothing more than what? Collinear. Why? Because they lie on the same point. So if they are lie on the same point, then they are collinear. So collinear, it means that the area of triangle ABC is nothing more than what? Zero. Now we know that according to the formula of area of triangle, it's nothing more than one by two, one, two, one, three, six, one, x, y, one. Is equal to zero. I guess you're clear again till there. Now again, same thing. I'm going to take this one to be plus, minus, plus. So that will be one by two, one. One means this and this gone. So that will be what? Six minus y minus two minus two means this and this gone. So that will be three minus x plus one. One means this and this gone. So that will be three mm, y minus six x. And equal to zero. Don't forget, write on equal to zero. I guess you're again clear till there. So that will be one by two. Let me just expand. Uh, in short, open up the bracket. So that will be six minus y minus six plus two x plus three y minus six x is equal to zero. I can cancel six six. So now I'm going to bring this two over here. So two is if you come over here it will be multiplication 2 into 0 is 0 and if you solve over here you'll get nothing more than 4x minus 4x plus 2y is equal to 0 so which I can say uh, let me take minus 2 common so it will be x minus so 2x minus y is equal to 0 or in short 2x minus y is equal to 0 and lastly I can say 2x is equal to y which is the required question if you stop the answer till here also that's fine ok 